So thinking helps us solve problems. It helps us make progress towards our goals. But overthinking can actually prevent us from taking action. It can cause us to hesitate, to procrastinate. So in this video, I'm going to discuss three specific things that you can do that you can think about to stop overthinking. My name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter. I am a leadership and empowerment coach at Live For Yourself Consulting. And if this is your first time on our channel, we really try to release content that's focused on helping you excel in your career and in your life. So if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell next to that subscribe button to be notified of new content. So if you struggle with overthinking, you probably struggle with understanding what you have control over and what you don't have control over. Uh, because usually people that overthink kind of go through this cycle of what could happen and what ifs, and they get concerned with outcomes that they don't truly control, that they have literally no responsibility over. All you can control is yourself, not something that results from your own actions. So the first thing you need to do is actually list down what you're overthinking about and the things that you actually have control over. So your specific actions. That will help you gain a little bit more awareness of the reality of the situation. Because if you're overthinking, you aren't truly connected with the facts. So this is actually going to take some work. Overthinking is a habit. It's something that you're used to. So to break that habit, you're going to also have to, to set some habits for yourself. You're gonna to have to create new ones. And one of the most important habits you can set if you're overthinking is setting deadlines for decisions. So if you're overthinking about something, you have to tell yourself, okay, by this date, by this time, I have to make a decision no matter what. And if you need to, create an accountability buddy. If you need to give them a hundred bucks and say, if I don't make a decision, you get to keep the hundred bucks, but make this process a habit that you are holding yourself accountable in some way. And it's going to take some time for this to catch on, for yourself to feel comfortable with. It's going to be very uncomfortable in the beginning, but this is what you need to do. Now, the third step may seem a little counterintuitive, but I want you to overthink. And that means Take whatever you are overthinking about and try to overthink about it. So literally take a piece of paper and a pen or type on a computer and let everything out. Just, just brain dump everything you can about the thing that you're overthinking about. And you'll actually find out that it may be rather difficult. And if it's not difficult, you're gonna get everything out and you'll find that you, you don't really have anything left. So try not to overthink about the contents of this video. They are fairly straightforward and I would love to hear if they help you stop overthinking. So remember it's understand what you have control over, set deadlines for yourself and brain dump. Try to overthink as much as possible about something that you're overthinking about. So if you've liked this video, if you like the content, if you've taken one thing away, don't forget to like it, share this video with some friends and most importantly, Keep on living for yourself.